well in this video we will uh, show you how to make a great section uh, like this and uh, we will do it from scratch and we will be making uh, this one so we see here this is a nice looking uh, and good looking uh, section not too much uh, cluster of text and dimensions so you can easily read it and that's what the customer wants so to give you guys an overview what we are going to cut through or made a section from it this is what i modeled some uh, wooden cladding and some con concrete with the basic wall insulation and so on and on the other side this is just the same so right here we're going to make a section to have a quick view of what we are going to do so this on the left right here this is uh, what we are going to finish with and this on the right as you see this is what we are going to start with so we are on the floor plan now and all right as you see i made a section for a video if you guys are wondering how we do that just here right on the top corner you just go section and draw it and you have a section so I will delete this one and go to the section you can do this by uh, go to view right here or uh, we go to the floor plan again or you can just right here in the ribbon go to double click on this and you are also in the section so this is what we're gonna start with and uh, what you get well first things first as you see the view here um, this is quite ugly <laughs> to be honest so uh, we need to uh, put more detail in it so how do we gonna do that right here in the left corner you see here details are we gonna go uh, to fine and voila now we see a little bit more oh not a little but a lot more and it's already looking uh, way better than before and the next thing um now it's uh more white and stuff like that so we can put color in it 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 is already color in it but i like my walls and floors to be in color so right here on the visual style we're gonna set it to consistent colors and voila that is uh, what we get this uh doesn't look uh, that nice in the beginning but for our uh, mannequin we're gonna select right click over your graphics by element and we will set this to solid fill and a all white apply okay and that's uh, uh, again a lot better <coughs> to begin with so the next thing that i'm gonna show you guys now you see the lines are um not smooth but like a bit pixelated so we're gonna set uh, thin lines and yeah, you guys can save it if you want and now right here we are gonna go to the visual style again then we go to the graphic display options and now we have a whole new menu so for the lines to look smoothly just here smooth lines with anti-aliasing you just click on it apply and voila this makes it a lot uh, better now the next thing that we're going to do is we can uh, put shadows on it like this voila so we have more uh, depth in it and we're gonna leave this uh, for now now the next thing that we are going to do is like those levels um, we don't need that it's just pure for modeling and i will select them all and i will hide them in view so you can hide them in view by elements or you can do it the other way and go to visibility graphics right here annotation categories you go to levels then right here levels you uncheck it click apply and voila they are gone and right here with this uh yeah light bulb reveal hidden elements you can see what we already have been hiding so that's are the quiet steps that we are going to do now the next step that i like to do is right here this uh, a border um, we call that um, here a crop view and crop region visibility so we i call it the crop view border um, you can leave it on by cropping the view so it means that you can crop the view like you see here so we're gonna set it again voila this is uh, better 
and now you can choose to leave it leave the crop uh, view visible or not and i don't really like it so i will hide it and that's a lot better so you don't have this ugly uh, rectangle now we come to the really crucial part that i uh, want to show you guys now we see this is uh, the lines are very very black or just black and it's like too busy to read so i like to soften it well uh, the fastest way to do that is just select everything then you're gonna right click on it and we go to override graphics and view by element and now we have a whole other new window popping up I'm gonna set it to, to the middle so right here we go to cut lines then we're gonna choose a color black voila and for the prediction lines we're gonna choose again this one voila click apply okay and boom look how beautiful and uh, softened the drawing is and really nicer to read that so it's not too uh, busy for your eyes and that's how you change that the next thing that we're going to do is of course begin to annotate it what we are going to do now is make the yeah the ground so we're gonna make it by a region so we'll fill it region uh, right here to the annotate tab we go to fill it region i have a solid right uh, white right here and now we're gonna pick lines right here we're gonna pick lines as you see and here in your line style you can also choose your line style but i will leave it on gray for now you will see in a moment how i will change it so i click here click here click here and click here all right now for the ground itself we're gonna draw a line horizontal right here i want another line style uh, more thickener so I will use uh, line type 2 and of course not pick a line but just a line so we can draw actually a line so we will zoom a bit in and just horizontally as far as you want voila and now we're gonna trim those together right here and right here now for the line it doesn't matter uh, which one you have now so we're gonna um, close the loop so we have clear solid line trim it and trim it voila then click right here to finishing edit mode and voila this is what we have really nicely done and also we bring it to the front voila now why i drawn so far because our crop view is uh, selected on so those lines you won't see it that's why a crop view is nice now we're gonna begin to annotate so we go to the annotate tab of course then we're gonna go to spot elevation i will use my floor pass zero right here voila then i will use my height voila and if i select my annotation this dot right here i will drag it to down a bit voila now we're gonna use the gray one for the roof right here and then for the outer space voila and that's already looking good now we're gonna do the dimensions the y dimension we're going to the floor then to this level voila and of course to this Hop a K and the packet package itself. Voila, and this is looking good. Right here will be enough. Voila. Now select all those uh, levels. Arrow keys, you can move them to the right. Voila. Yes, that's what we want. Now the next thing that we're going to do is um, adding, uh, yeah, uh, this the um, slabs where they uh, need to be of course so i will first go to by the epdm how do we do that very simple we go that uh, we're gonna do that just with detail uh, lines right here you have a uh, detail lines detail lines and the shortcut is dl and i will select my uh, line type that i want and i will give it 
a offset of 0 0.4 centimeters because it will look better voila and then we go to the top right here mm. and then as you see voila escape just uh, press escape once and then we can go right here and do it right here voila and select this one and connect it with this and as you see this is already looking good if i don't use the um, thin lines you see that's a much better uh, because um, i give it a little offset so you see it a uh, better if i do it on the li line itself it will not uh, be as um, yeah we don't see it very well so we're gonna set it to thin lines again right here thin lines uh, i don't want to save <laughs> Now for the top one, we go to DL also, and it will uh, remember uh, the last line type that you use, but, but the offset you will need to do again, 0 0.4. Gonna do that for this. See the line is above it, right here. And we're gonna draw, voila, right here. And we're gonna do it, voila. Click escape once and now i will do it from here up space bar to flip it voila and now i don't gonna give it an offset for this one and i will do it right here and voila this looks already good i will leave the 10 lines off and ooh, <laughs> very nice now the next thing that we're going to do is some uh, foils for um, the material here so we get detail line and then we go to the PE fully voila gonna thin lines again we're gonna give it an offset of 0 0.4 and we will begin here and the lines are top of it nice and just uh, 13 escape once and we're gonna draw it again right here voila click and escape a couple of times we're gonna see what we have the thick lines oh this is looking very very good as we want now it's the turn for detail components so <coughs> excuse me and the annotate app right here you have detail components and I will use the brick one uh, this one here is a single detail component but I don't gonna use the same uh, detail component uh, every time so that's why in Revit you have repeating detail components so I made a repay uh, repeating detail component of this brick right here so this one and we just start right here to the bottom and go to the top and with spacebar you can choose uh, which side the bricks need to be just click click uh, escape a couple of times and then you have your brick pattern we're gonna do it we're gonna do the same for the insulation repeating deal co detail component insulation we're gonna select this line right here and hit the spacebar voila hit escape a couple of times i will leave one by here move it and that's look looks great create similar for the wall itself voila click escape with the arrow keys again gonna move it to top voila create similar again again for the roof hit space bar voila again oh again with the arrow keys voila this is uh, looking beautiful now the next step that i gonna do is adding some depth queuing because this is uh, i want some more depth of course so we go to the uh, visual style graphic display option we go to uh, depth queuing right here we set it on click apply and yeah as you see this is not what we want so we're gonna set it to 50 apply and voila see how that is grayed out uh how farther it will be how more how more it will be grayed out and that's what we want 
click OK and voila, very nice. The next thing that we're going to do is adding some text for the floor packages. So right here you go to text, then just click anywhere you want. Then you have here test, click yes. And then you can choose right here which line, uh, line style, uh, text style that you want. I want it like this. Then we're gonna use a detail line again. So we're gonna use a darker detail line like this, voila. And then you select this text and then you can type every material that you want. But they're gonna don't gonna do that because if you will uh, take too long. So I will go to the final one and I will hold control key, then copy it and paste it into the same place, voila. And then we're gonna go a detail line again and I will use this one and right here we're gonna draw, oh, my bad. We're gonna uh, draw a line like this, voila, and move it a little bit upwards and with the arrow keys we can just move it a bit to the exact place that you want, voila, this is looking great and voila guys this is what uh, we have oh some finishing touches right here i will the detail components i will use override graphics by lament cracks and lines again black apply right voila and now as you see here guys this is what we had and this is what we done together so now you see it's exactly the same and it's a really smooth looking section so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments share like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye